Hey everybody, welcome to the Baton Pro Crash Course video. This is not a slow, uh, detailed oriented video. We are gonna move really fast. This is for somebody who really wants to quickly learn how to build the homepage of Baton Pro. Like this example here, hero feature, hero two, feature two, slider, and then our blog role uh, in a grid below that. So let's just dive right in. So you can see right out of the box how this uh, theme is built. So by default, uh, this is our blog role. <clears throat> this is how the Baton theme reacts when you first install it. First thing we want to do, head on over to general settings. Let's set up a static home page. So we'll go to static front page, select a static page, select our home page for our front page, and here's our static home page. Now we can begin to populate the front page widget area uh, to build our uh, example site. So we're going to head, over, head on over to Widgets, Front Page. And this is where the action and the fun begins. We're going to use our Note widget, which you can download for free at wordpress.org slash plugins slash note. And when you have this activated with Baton theme, uh, some special displays will be unlocked, primarily Hero 1, Hero 2, Features 1, and Features 2. So let's just dive right into that as well. As soon as we click on Hero 1, our placeholder is here, Call to Action. supporting sub header text here. And uh, if you're familiar with Note, you, re you know by now that this is all done sort of live and you're editing text right as your visitor would see it. So we'll select this, we'll change the text color to white to make it look a little bit different. Whoops, try that again, text color to white. So that'll look a little bit different. Uh, maybe same for here as well. So you can kind of see where the different uh, areas of customization lie, and I can just kind of get the customizer out of the way. Here's our nice big hero area. Let me show you how to set up this button. Uh, so this is just a placeholder as well. So if I were to say, you know, something like learn more here, you can see that the button style goes away. But what we do is we select it. We give it a link. It needs a hyperlink. So let's just click on this. We'll give it to the register page. Uh, we then have to select the text one more time and then give this a button format. So we'll click on format and voila, there's our learn more here button styled properly and linking to uh, the page that we want. Let's move on to the second widget in our example. We're going to add another note widget. This time we're going to give it the features uh, display. And once the customizer loads, you can see here's our features. And again, it's no different. You start typing migrate features, more supporting text. And you can kind of see, again, if this is your first time using Note, um, this is a new experience. You are editing the content right in the customizer. You're not bouncing back and forth between fields at the back end and the front end. Uh, we all, we pretty much do this all right here live. So you can kind of see how it, exactly how it'll look to a visitor of your website. And you can continue on filling out these features. One thing I want to point out that most themes might lock you into just these four features, let's say. Uh, but with Note and Baton specifically, we unlock the ability for you to control the columns and the rows. So if you didn't have four features uh, for your product or website, you could scale this back to two columns, let's say. And that would give you just two columns to work with. Or you could scale it up all the way to six columns, uh, which things might get a little tight uh, with that. You might have to use uh, as little text as possible, but you can do it, right? That's the point. It gives you some flexibility. You can come in here. You can add this content. You can upload images. You can highlight things, change colors, link stuff, uh, and all that fun stuff. And you can also give it multiple rows. So if you wanted to do a mixture of things, you could maybe do something like two columns, but uh, Oops, two columns, but two rows or three rows in this example, which give you six total pieces of content. And there you have it. There's your uh, features image. So by default, we set it up the way we think looks best uh, and to how uh, the theme demo uh, looks. Uh, but you do have that flexibility. Okay, so let's press press on uh, right to the next widget. And that is the hero widget or excuse me, hero two widget. And we will drop that in here, hero two. That'll sit right below this features widget. And it works the same exact way uh, as the Hero 1. Let's give it this image. You can kind of come in and say, 
my great website and again continue to write your uh, create your content and the biggest differences are they b between Hero 1 and Hero 2. Hero 1 is kind of formatted. Uh, it's, it's much taller. Uh, it's justified to the left. The text is slightly larger. Where Hero 2 is meant to be sort of down uh, in the middle of your site somewhere, breaking up sections. It's not as tall, and the content is by default centered. Uh, but again, because we are leveraging the power of our Note plugin, you can align this stuff uh, however you want. Uh, we just say, hey, by default, this looks the best way but again we're here to allow you to be uh, a little bit more customizable with our theme and our uh, solutions last widget we're going to add in is the note widget again and or excuse me it's not the last widget but almost the second to last is the features to display right it's going to handle content just like the rest of these widgets uh, we'll be able to come in and add this stuff again this is just a different display it's styled a little bit differently it's got some colors that accent the theme um, depending on what color scheme you've, you've chosen uh, these feature boxes will change according to that or you can change them uh, through the color customizer you can see that in another video uh, but you're getting the gist of it uh, to build the demo is four note widgets um, with its given display and because these are widgets uh, it allows you to mix and match, right? So, or drag and drop, if you will. So I can, I can, if I wanted my features on the top of my page, I could do that and say, migrate features, here's a grid, and then hit the hero one uh, call to action area. And then, hey, maybe just a hero two right after that, if you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can build it however you want. We recommend it uh, the way it is in our demo for, uh, for it to look the best way possible. But again, you have all of these sort of options with our stuff. Uh, last but not least, the conductor widget will take content and display it anywhere on your website. Great for home pages and landing pages like this. So the last thing we'll do is set up our conductor widget to show many posts. Uh, and in this example, by default, it's going to output uh, your 10 most recent posts and the content within those posts. So I'll clean it up a little bit. If you're not familiar with conductor, this is a great way to um, display content. So we will switch this to two columns. And instead of showing content, we will show the excerpt and save that and now you can see here's our 10 most recent posts in a grid format and again that's using the conductor widget you can set that up uh, and again you can clean this stuff up if you don't want to show all of these elements you don't have to and actually uh, I lied again the last widget we will show you is the slider widget which is an add-on to conductor so we're gonna go ahead and drop that in add a widget We'll do conductor widget again. And this time we're going to put this above our most recent, uh, our recent posts. And we will select, once again, many posts. Uh, this is just for this example anyway. If you had custom post types like testimonials, uh, reviews, that kind of thing, you can filter that in here through conductor. Uh, so what does that look like? Well, the slider widget, we're going to select testimonials. And we, we call it testimonials just because we feel like it's the best uh, use of this display. Like one would have custom post types with a person's name and the quote uh, that they uh, are leaving as their testimonial for your product or service. Um, but Conductor handles the output of the slider and it just looks, looks beautiful um, the way uh, that we've styled it here and kind of break up your content. We can change that uh, as well. We have a what we're calling a hero slider as well, which is just larger, bolder, um, you know, more, uh, again, this would probably sit best at the top of a site, pulls in the featured image as the background with your post title and your excerpt. So that's just a little bit more uh, bold and in your face. And last, sort of the news uh, slider display is a little bit more traditional, what you would see on like top news or trending news, that kind of thing. So that is how uh, that displays. We'll put it back to testimonials for the purpose uh, of our demo. And no different than the, the other uh, widget areas, you can adjust the column. So if you wanted to show, uh, let's say, well, just one post at a time, one testimonial at a time, you can drop that down to one. Or you could scale it up to four. Again, things might get a little tight, but you have the ability to do that and you can cycle through four posts. Right? And that's setting up, that's a crash course anyway, on setting up the new baton theme uh, with Note and Conductor.